Hey there YouTubers, uh, Coin Metallurgist here and I have uh, some silver stacks to show you here today. Um, these uh, were not a recent purchase, I bought these uh, summer 2009. Um, just haven't uh, gotten around to making a video of these for you. Um, I bought uh, these silver rounds, they're two ounces of silver each and uh, I, I bought 14 of them. Um, they originally came in a set of 24 um, and they had a really nice uh, wood display case that they came in and uh, when I purchased these I did get that wood display case um, and then later on I throughout the years I've gotten rid of it just because it was kind of really bulky. Um, probably should have hanged on to that but I did not. Um, they have these certificates of authenticity um, the set that they were was America's Rarest Coins. Um, the one really disappointing things, thing about these coins is uh, that nowhere does it say uh, the company that minted them. And it, it's really difficult to find that information. I have not been able to find it anywhere. Um, and that would be something really nice to know to kind of uh, authenticate that they actually are silver. Um, I've done quite a bit to, to actually look into them to make sure that they are uh, since I've purchased them. Um, just an example of one of the certificates here. Um, you know, it says they're proof quality replica coins, uh, limited to 30 days of striking, two ounces of 999 pure silver. Um, Arthur uh, Blumenthal, um, don't know if I'm saying his name right or not, but he is a very prominent coin collector. Uh, if I remember correctly, he is now uh, one of the uh, big auction companies, um, specialists on coins. Um, so good name to have on there. Um, the, the set of these coins, uh, did something really, that I really like. Uh, they, they took, uh, 24 of the, uh, really, really rare, uh, U.S. coins. Um, in many cases, coins that are uh, unique or maybe two or three or five are known to exist. And they made replicas of those coins. And why I like that is many of these coins, uh, although, although these are replicas, um, I probably uh, will never actually see um, the real coin. So this is the closest thing I'm going to get to seeing that. Um, and when they when I say there's only two or three in known, it's not necessarily that type of coin, uh, but that specific uh, year and variety. Um, and I'll go through these in a minute and show you them. Um, the reason why I only got 14 of these and not all 24 uh, is the man that I bought them from uh, had told me that he had been in a divorce, and these were the ones that he kept, and his wife got the other ones. So if I ever see his wife uh, here locally selling the other 10, I'll definitely uh, uh, buy them. But uh, for now, I just have the 14 of them. Um, so going through here, uh, this first one here is a 19, sorry, 1776 continental currency. Um, and the currency is just 1R. Um, I think they have additions with uh, two R's as well. Um, each of the coins says, you know, copy, 999 silver. Um, I've weighed them. I've, I've done measurements to figure out the density, and, and they're real good for uh, being actual silver. Um, the next coin here is a 1787 uh, New York gold doubloon with EB on the wing. So they have ones with EB on the wing or on the shield, different places. Um, pretty... Pretty fun because these are coins that I, you know, like I said, would never have seen uh, in real life otherwise. Uh, we have a 1792 uh, Birch Scent, uh, 1792 uh, Disney, uh, 1794 Flowing Hair Dollar. Uh, 1798 cap bus to right small eagle. I think there's uh, four of these that I that I got that are uh, gold plated. 
Um, and then on the certificate for those ones, it says, you know, 24 karat gold plated, um, in addition to saying two ounces silver. But I think the, that plating is really thin, um, which usually it is. Uh, we have an 1804 uh, Heraldic Eagle Reverse Silver Dollar. 1836 uh, Gobrech Dollar, name below base. So it's got his name right there uh, below and above the date. Uh, there's another gold one, 1849 um, Liberty Head $20. Some of these, they look like they have scratches on them or something, but that's just on the uh, plastic capsule they're in. So we have a 1866 Liberty Seeded Quarter, Variety 1. Uh, so, you know, a Liberty Seeded Quarter, that's something that's not extremely rare, but something with that year and variety makes it rare. Uh, we have a 1873 uh, Liberty Seeded Dime, sorry, Liberty Seeded, yeah, Dime, uh, CC. And this one is an 1873 Liberty Seated Dollar San Francisco Mint. We have an 1893 S Morgan Dollar and we have a 1913 Liberty Head Nickel. This one, I believe there were uh, five in known in existence. So uh, the main thing here is we have, I have, uh, you know, 28 ounces of silver in uh, 14 two ounce uh, um, rounds. Um, I believe I paid uh, maybe $12 and 50 cents a piece for these in 2009. Um, so it was a pretty good price then. I think it was a little bit below spot. Um, it's definitely a little bit below spot nowadays. Um, it would have been really nice to have sold these, uh, you know, in 2011 when silver was uh, $40 an ounce, then I could have bought a whole lot more silver nowadays. Um, you know, my one complaint about these is that it doesn't say uh, who minted them. That's just crucial when you're going to mint something like this, you, you got to say who you are so that it gives proof to people that these are authentic silver, um, but the, the design, um, the quality of them, uh, absolutely incredible, and I, I really enjoy them. And you know, they're, at the same time, it's a good silver investment. Um, so uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any comments or questions, uh, feel free to make those below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.